What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, this is TWA Motorsports, and today we are on the Silverado. So um, I know you guys have been wanting to see some other stuff and believe me, we've got parts rolling in. We'll talk about that um, very soon in a future video as far as Trans Am, uh, OBS, and the green truck. I've got parts rolling in for all of those. So, but anyway, today we are gonna work on the daily driver and I have been dying to get rid of these taillights ever since I bought this truck. Um, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of multi-colors. I don't like this orange. I think it looks tacky. It just doesn't look real clean. So um, I'm going to be replacing it with a newer style, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But um, these things are just dingy. They could probably buff out and look really nice. And actually, my uncle just sent me, they make a replacement of these where this is red, um, which would look really nice. And he actually candied. I've seen guys candy this, and he did that. And uh, I'll have to show you his trucks at some point, but we're going to be replacing those. And um, so what we've got here is we've got new replacement lights, which I'll list this stuff in the description down below. But there's a certain brand that I like to use and um, they just fit better. They're a better quality. And like I said, I'll list them in the description down below. Uh, the downside is when you buy the more expensive ones, they do not come with the harness. So I did have to go to a local wrecking yard. Uh, actually, there's a guy who parts out these trucks and I got a set of stock um, for 03 up and you can modify your stock one, but I didn't want to mess with that. I literally just wanted a plug and play option. So going to be putting those in because you do have to have there's four lights in these and there's only three in these so uh, we'll be fixing that and then as far as reverse lights i did get some las fits to put in the reverse bulbs to make them a little bit brighter and uh, several people have asked me here recently like why don't you replace like the tail light bulbs with leds now i've never done that and i think the main reason is because the housing generally shields the light. Um, and so I've just never had a reason to do that. The other thing is there's been some issues in the past with the older GM trucks where the cruise control may stop working on some GM vehicles if you replace the rears with LEDs. So I've never had that issue when I did my Tahoe, they were actually LEDs that were built into the housing and I didn't have any issues with that, but um, I just don't really see the point in spending the money on the taillight bulbs. Um, but the reverse lights, it does help because generally I tint my windows and actually I have a window tinting appointment um, set up for this truck very soon. So um, other than that, I am going to replace, I, I thought about buying new bulbs or sorry, new pieces here, these plastic pieces, but I'm gonna just replace the bulbs for now. And the reason why is I think in the future, I'm gonna buy a bumper for this thing and it will come with those new. And so the reason I'm gonna replace it is you can see it's touching right here. The plastic is touching. So I'm probably gonna have some rubbing right there, but um, this bumper is actually bent a little bit on this side. So um, I didn't see the point in doing that. And then the new one will also come with the, these not cut out apparently at some point somebody had a hitch on it so other than that um the tailpipe a couple people have said man that tailpipe looks terrible you need to cut it off and i'm going to do that today as well so i think i'm going to go like right by the leaf spring there where that last hanger is i'm pretty sure um just so we don't have this dorky looking tailpipe sticking out of the side it, it does look kind of trashy but uh just kind of ultimately clean up the look of this thing so let's get you set up on a tripod and let's get started by getting these tail lights out of place so in order to get the tail lights out, obviously you're gonna to have to put the tailgate down. And um, you just got two Phillips screwdrivers, or two Phillips screws that come in from the side and hold it. Don't lose these because chances are your new lights do not come with them. Some do, some don't. And then these just pull out of here. you can see there's only three bolts. And I'm gonna go ahead, since we're replacing these guys as well, I'm gonna go ahead and shove this down through the bottom here. And then I'm gonna take this time to uh, clean out this pocket here because look guys, we're here. It's easy to get to now. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, man, it's got a bunch of junk in there, a bunch of dirt and dust. So we're gonna clean that out and um, then grab the new, well, actually we're gonna have to go underneath and take the harness out. So now that we're under the truck, you can see this is the harness right here. 
and there's a couple plugs you can see it runs on the bail or on the bed rail and uh, so all you need to do is you got a couple options you can use a pair of needle nose pliers and pull these plugs out and because the new ones actually have those on it that's the probably the route that i'm going to take or you can use a flat blade screwdriver and just pop those open and then you're going to come all the way over to this command center right here and you're going to unplug that one now it's a good idea if you don't remember which one you unplug to just do one at a time um, now i've done this enough that i know which one goes to you know the certain place because well the closest one to this side goes to this side same way with the other side and then you have another one obviously that goes to your your lights for your bumper so we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way <clears throat> and i'll probably go ahead and route the new one up in here right after i take this out and leave kind of the bulbs dangling until i clean off um, those old pockets you can see i've got the old one laying there in the floor and so what i've done is i've laid out the two new ones and obviously guys the one that goes further away so the passenger side is going to be the longer one because obviously it has more ground to cover and then the shorter one will be for the driver's side so just to show you guys and the plugs are identical literally this is a plug and play deal so let's go ahead and put this one back in and um, i won't show you guys both sides but we'll plug this one back in and uh, just kind of leave the bulbs dangling like i said until we get those pockets clean now while i was under there i did go ahead and twist these guys out and these are just uh, some 194 bulbs and i have some extra leds here and we'll just have to go test them and make sure that they work but these seem to you know they're cheap i had they're actually extras from you know when i've done interiors and stuff so we'll just we'll see if they work sometimes they work for like a week sometimes they work for two years um you know but we'll put those in and uh take a look at those make sure that they're working well, they definitely work so we'll twist those back in, but I can see that you can see on this guy and this one over here, there's some bulbs that aren't lit up. So obviously um, I was gonna replace those bulbs anyway with just new ones, but definitely worth testing before you go putting them in. Now, as far as cleaning these buckets, I'm literally just using some cleaner. Actually it's Windex because it does a good job of getting crap out of the way and some disposable towels. And I'll probably go over it a couple times just because I'm picky like that. There's a bunch of junk in here too. Years of road grime. The poor tailgate and back of these trucks take a ton of beating as far as dirt goes over time. So it's gonna take, take a little bit. And we'll try to clean these areas really well around the edges. Like I said, guys, you're here, so just do it. It'll help prevent rust. And, um, you know, they, these generally don't rust a ton back here, but it'll help, believe me. And like I said, you're already in here, so it takes maybe an extra couple minutes. Now that we've got that bucket all clean, let's go ahead and see if we can get our lights up in there. I have to get on the bottom of the truck. Oh, maybe not. Now we're ready to swap out our bulbs. Like I said, I might use, I've got some LEDs, 194 LEDs that I could put in here. Um, that's just a running light anyway. So I might do that. And then for these other ones, like I said, I'm just gonna use standard replacements. 
we're going to go ahead. Well, the reverse slide, I guess we're using those last fits, but on these other two, we'll just take them out and replace them with stock ones. Maybe. They're in there. Definitely want to use some dielectric, dielectric grease. That's so hard to say. We'll be using some of that because this one acts a little frozen up. Yep. Just had some dirt in it. At this point, I'm going to get some my top broke to my grease here. We're going to put a little dialectic grease in these housings here. Probably should just put it on the bulb actually. Probably make my life a little easier. So the one with the green is your reverse light. So for that one we're gonna use that last fit bulb. And then for this guy, like I said, we're gonna to attempt to use some cheapy LEDs that I've got. It's just a running light, so it doesn't really matter. do is before we actually put the housings up here let's test these and see if they work let's start it up and test it and see if everything works Seems to be working. So now that we've got all the lights working, open this tail light, see if we can get it into place. Should just have to twist your bulbs. Some of them twist different directions, so just take your time here. Don't break your new housing. And we're just going to kind of tuck this down in here. Notice that this harness seems to be just a little longer. Oh, way better look. Don't over tighten here, guys, or you will snap them. That would suck. But now that we got them in, 
well, this one. I'll put the other one in. Man, the fit, man. I'm telling you guys, these, these just fit nice. Now that we got them in, um, we'll step back and take a look at it all lit up. Before we move on to the tailpipe, let's, uh, let's put this in reverse, hit the brake lights, hit the turn signals, and so you guys can see the difference. I mean, obviously it's a lot brighter. Looks a lot nicer. For the tailpipe, I'm gonna use my Sawzall with a metal cutting blade, obviously. And guys, I'm thinking, I've went back and forth whether cutting it right behind the muffler. I think I'm gonna cut it right here. So, um, just so we can get rid of that tailpipe, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily need to take the arch off that goes over the axle because we're not hitting or anything, but man, this just looks really goofy. So, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll cut it right here. And you know, if I don't like it, then I can always go up further and cut. There's another hanger um, right behind the muffler. And so before it goes over the axle. So I just, I just want to make sure it doesn't knock around. So let's cut right here and kind of see what, what it looks like. Okay, so that literally took less than 30 seconds to cut through that. But I think I'm going to deal with that. I actually think, you know, it's, you can't see it on the side now. And um, yeah, we didn't take much off. And like I said, if I decide to later, um, you know, maybe if I lower it, I've generally never had an issue with that hitting, um, with even with them dropped. But for now, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna live with that. Now that we're all finished up there, I actually decided that I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a bunch of extra LED bulbs. And so I'm gonna put new bulbs in like the door here. And there's really not a lot. I didn't think it had footwell lights, but it actually does. They're just burned out. I actually just pulled out one. So let's see if we can make it look a little nicer on the inside too. If I can find the spot where this goes, I probably should have had a bulb in hand before. I'm gonna have to get a light to put my light in. Oh, we're close. That's way better. So they're just, I think they're just both burnt out because I don't have one on that other side either. Let's get a, let's get like my little pry tool and see if we can get these ones out of the door. You know, the cool thing about buying all these LEDs is that, I want to say this one's right here, that you got extras. Maybe a little further down. Nope, it's right there. Doesn't hurt to have two of these. Well, these guys should just pop out. And they're gonna be hot. Oh gosh. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, wrong way. Oh man, they don't fit. Yeah, we're gonna make them fit. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea. I'll probably never get them out now. Okay, that was a bad idea. We're gonna have to break this one and get a different one. It's okay, I got a couple. Gotta figure out how to get this one out. Those big heads on those won't go through there. So let's go grab a different one that I've got. Try these. They're actually a little brighter anyway. That works. Let's see. There we go. Actually, before I snap that in, I'm gonna clean that. I didn't get behind that when I was cleaning the truck and I'm gonna clean that dust off real quick. Once I got that cleaned off, 
That looks a lot better. All right, let's go to the other door. We'll do it. Actually, I'll just do the other door real quick and then we'll go to the inside and see if we can replace the one on the headliner. For this top one, I went ahead and hit the dome override because it's going to be hot. Actually, I think it's here in the corner. I'm going to have to sweep again. Oh, it's broken. Crap. Yeah, it's actually messed up. Melted. We're going to get a bulb to put in it. We'll get it to work. It's melted the thing that holds it in place. Like I said, I still think we can get it though. What I think we'll do is we're gonna have to bend those prongs a little to hold this new bulb. I'm gonna turn it on because they are side specific. There we go. Way better. These next two here are kind of a pain to replace. I, I generally use like a flathead screwdriver to get them out. I actually think. No. But it seems like they just never want to come out right. And we may have to we have to leave them. It's just hard to get your fingers in there to pull them out. This is the bad part is you've got to get the bulb and this little chrome piece lined up at the same time. I'm going to turn it on so maybe we'll get lucky and it'll light up. By far the hardest ones to do in the truck. And it didn't go that way. So we're going to turn it around. It started to work and I missed it. But you're gonna fight with these. These are just 194s also. I messed up the little prong on it. These are so cheap. I think I messed the prong up again. This is a fight. Well, we're gonna keep working on it. I won't make you guys sit here and watch me screw up and fumble through it, but we'll get it. It's gonna take some time. So I told you we'd get it in, but it was a fight. They wanted to fight me the whole time. Now we just need to snap our lenses back in. There we go. Look at the difference between those two. Definitely a better look. One more to go. So there's actually one more, and it's the glove box. You can see it back here, and it's gonna be tough to pull out too. Sometimes you can push the whole switch out. You may not be able to do it with one hand. There we go. It's actually on the switch. There we go. So I'm gonna pull this one out and replace it as well. Now we've got that one slid back in. It seems to be working. This is kind of the switch that I noticed kind of sticks. So anyway, it's replaced. I think that's all of them. Well guys, at this point we're finished up. Um, like I said, I, I just threw these bulbs in here because I had them laying around. This thing's already dirty. It's been raining all week. 
and uh, but you know that looks a lot better definitely looks a lot better up top of course it's now it's not gonna come on there we go definitely a better look and those ones that were burnt out in the uh, floor well uh, they needed replaced anyway so but ultimately the tail lights were the main thing that I wanted to get accomplished and you could see the old ones here and the new ones I I just it just looks so much cleaner in my opinion not to mention you know it doesn't have any scratches but I, I don't love this that little curve the little bumps in it I wish they made them flat but I'll live with that because I like it with the two colors instead of the ambers in there. It just looks a lot better. And then, as you can see, it was a lot brighter. Of course, we put the lights in here. Um, like I said, guys, I went back and forth on buying new ones of those, but because they will probably come with the new bumper, they generally do when I order them, uh, I will probably just address that if I get a new bumper. But this, this does make me a little crazy that that's bent and touching. I don't know how soon or even if I will get a bumper. I'm just trying to do little odds and ends things while I'm waiting on parts for the other big projects to me this this is easy stuff for me to do and kind of a short video for you guys but and then of course we got the tailpipe knocked off you can see where we cut it off there now while that's not still not my favorite spot I don't love that it just looks better than that dorky looking tailpipe hanging out the back but let me know what you guys think I know that uh, you're probably wondering uh, I've asked about or I post in the community section about a step side Guys, I've always liked the look of a step side. Uh, a couple people have reached out and said, you know, why don't you put a step side bed on your green truck? I don't really want to do that. I want to keep that a fleet side. But at the same time, I would like to have a daily instead of maybe this, a uh, a daily that's a regular cab with a step side. I just, and I'm looking, I'm very specific in what I want. I know that I've, a couple of you guys have sent me stuff and I may have said, you know, no, that's, or it's maybe too far away. But ultimately I'm looking for, here's here's the specs that I actually want I want red white pewter or gold I know those are weird color combos but um, I don't want any black don't want any dark colors don't want any maroons I found a really nice maroon one but I just don't love maroon and so I also want a 99 to 2000 Silverado or if it's gonna be a GMC I'll, I'll go all the way up to 2005 the last year I believe they made the step side so the other thing is if any of you guys know where a step side bed is I might do that option I might buy the bed and just put it on a I could sell the fleet side bed relatively easy around here because they're all rusted out so I found a couple fleet sides that are in really good shape and I've thought about that option as well just kind of make my own but I don't care if it's a six cylinder eight cylinder power windows none of that matters I just don't want any rust on the rockers zero none I don't even want any bubbles and um, I want a pretty clean truck and I'll pony up I'll pay I'll pay for it but I'm not gonna give I like there's one here a hundred miles from me I found today and the guy wants 20 grand and it's got 150,000 miles it's got a couple dings and it. it's like if you're gonna ask 20 grand for it it's gonna need to be spotless perfect and uh, I don't really want to drive more than like six hours let's say so you know Texas Dallas Texas area I'll go there that's six and a half hours seven hours for me um, I'll do that drive but I don't really wanna go north because they seem to get rusty that direction. So let me know what you guys have found. But anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, like always, please smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are not subscribed, please go down there, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, that notifies you every time we drop a new video and stay tuned to see what we work on next.